Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Oke, okay, well, good morning students. Oke, okay, I hope you all in great condition. Even though uh, we have to uh, what we call it get to the person learning teaching and learning process by uh, daring yeah. online online lessons so first of all uh, let's thanks to Allah yeah, who has always provided us healthy space and time so we can conduct this lesson again about my subject Bahasa and Sastra English And also salawat dan salam always deliver to our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Without his shafat, we cannot uh, fill this with his knowledge, with his time, and with his food. Okay, <clears throat> in this chance, uh, in this occasion, I'd like to tell you all about a new unit that we are going to face in this month. Uh, we are going to talk about unit 8. Uh, it's about... Um, The differences between, for example, such as, uh, for instance, and etc. Yeah, to state or uh, to mention some example with different structure in English grammar. Yeah, the first one is for example. Yeah. As we know, for example is the commonly uh, phrase that we use to mention some things like. Uh, I have kinds of guitar in my house, like the, for example, electricity guitar, acoustic guitar, and wine guitar and bass, and also etc. And also I have kinds of guitar in my house, for example, for electricity, electricity guitar, acoustic guitar, and wine guitar and bass. Uh, for example, here there's two kind of, for example, uh, the first. Uh, style is for example with the big alphabet and the first of the phrase yeah I mean big F yeah so if we want to use the big F yeah we have to divide the clause into two I mean we have to put a point for example I have kind of guitars in my house and we have to put a point point yeah Uh, and then we continue for example with big F yeah and then put a comma and then we continue to another clause like this one I have kinds of guitar in my point my house point yeah for example comma electricity guitar acoustic guitar wind guitar and bass uh, that's the first style of for example and then we got to the second style is I have kinds of guitar in my house comma for example electricity guitar acoustic guitar and okay to uh, what we call it to paragraph this has the same meaning yeah but in the style of grammar they are uh, get a big differences yeah? because while when while we are using for example so we have to get notice about the style point comma and also style of clause that we want to use Uh, for the second style, uh, we use for example, you mean for F is for small F, yeah, and then divide it between two comma, yeah. So yes, uh, so in the second example, we made it to be one sentences, yeah, because it's just divided. By comma, yeah. But in the first, in the first sentence is is going to be two sentences because it's divided by point in different example, yeah. So for example, uh, also are often used as transitions, yeah. Next. No, for instance, uh, for instance, uh, this is got the same meaning. For example, he has just mentioned some things that we are going to mention, like things and moves and etc. Okay, uh, for instance, here, uh, the rules, 
yeah the rules the rules for instance it seems like the first sentences that for instance is just divided into two sentences yeah uh, using point and comma yeah for example or like some spicy food for instance but that so it's a chicken wings and kimchi jjigae and ota ota yeah and also uh we got the same rules also for the for instance for small apps yeah it should divide it into two comma and then make it to be one sentences like it's like example like some spicy food for instance hot dog so it's like chicken wings kimchi jjigae and ota ota okay uh for this one why there is for example for instance because uh, for example is commonly using uh, commonly using in the two contexts i mean for formal and informal for instance also can uh, being an alternative if you want to use or just mention sums in different way so for instance provide the different way to mention some things Okay, now we continue to A point, G point. Uh, for example, Exemplia Gracia. Exemplia Gracia, uh, we mostly often or see this uh, phrase uh, when we read some book or article, etc. Yeah. For example, student should eat some healthy food. Eat TTGL or EJ fruit, bread, and vegetable. Uh, as we know that, for example, for instance, an EJ yes has the same meaning. This is like just mention some uh, of category of the sentences before. It's like mention uh, some part of the body and etc. Yeah. Uh, and then this is what the difference is between the for example and ED students should eat some healthy food for example fruit bread and vegetable so uh, so you just choose the style that you want and make it suitable with the phrase or the sentences that you want to use yeah for ED is an abbreviation of latin phrase yeah like I said before example Garcia uh, it is often usually uh, we found it in article and also in journal and also liter literacy book. Yeah. What about the meaning? It has the same meaning also for for example and for instance. Yeah. And then we get the another one is such as uh, such as is uh, what we call it is the commonly most using for the native speaker also for the informal context yeah such as that for example there are many wild animals in the jungle such as lion uh, snake and crocodile countries such as indonesia has several you know. okay for using such as we don't have to put a comma after such as just last just directly mention the point or the things that you want to mention for example like this example here yeah, uh, after such as uh, it just get directly lion snake and crocodile so we don't need uh, any comma or point just to divide it between such as and another things yeah okay oh, another example is country such as Indonesia has several island okay that's provide us that such as doesn't need any comma yeah. okay such as also have essentially the same meaning even though the pattern varies yeah for example another example we can see the pages number 143 yeah uh, activity 4 like I prefer to wear casual clothes such as jeans and sweatshirt. Yeah, so it make bold that the differences such as, for example, for instance, and EJ uh, is placed in their style of the sentences. If you want to use EJ, so you have to make it to be formal writing, and then for example, for uh, natural context, I mean for formal and non 
non-formal ya. And for instance, also for the replacing or the alternative for uh, example. Yeah. So we have to get notice about the point and comma. Yeah. Uh, I repeat it. For example, yeah, we have to put it between point and comma. I mean for big app. Yeah. And then for the small app, we have to put in the uh, both comma. Yeah. Between comma. For example, also get the same rules. Ij for the science uh, journal and etc. Yeah. So just okay. Uh, so that's all uh, the brief explanation of me about the differences between, for example, such as for instance and also Ij. So if you have any comment or any questions, so you just put in our group, yeah, uh, one by one. Yeah. So that's all. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.